next, a light heavyweight showdown between the boogeyman and the ultra-popular Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Are you ready to fight? Tito Ortiz, the boogeyman. Come on, let's do it. And here we go. Joe, how do you see this matchup going for Edwards tonight? In his last fight, he earned submission of the night. You expect him to take it to the ground again this evening? Well, he's proved how dangerous his submission skills are. If he can get this fight to the ground and work his top game, he's got a really good chance of finishing it. He's looking to isolate an arm here. Looking wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Joe, quick shot, and the result is a cut. Yeah, he tagged him, and it's opened up now. Back to his feet. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. The left. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Tito's game plan. Big left hook. Body shot. Under three minutes now. Big knee! Trying to get this fight down to the ground. Nice work. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Stop. Nobody doing much of anything. Referee's going to break him up. Let's see if it gets uh, a little faster toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, big left hook. He's got double underhooks here. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. And he slams. Tito Ortiz can submit people. He's known for his ground. He's looking for a Kimura. He got out. And he escapes. Back to their feet. Joe, that's a perfectly landed strike. And this does not look good. He's bleeding. Yeah, he's bleeding bad here. This does not look good at all. And the slam. He's looking for Kimura. He's got it locked in. Oh, that's... Oh, he escapes. All right, so they're back on their feet. Nice hook there. Shoots for the takedown. He gets a takedown. Round one complete. Joe, when you look at a round of fighting like that, that's why you must be a complete mixed martial artist modern day if you're going to win in the UFC. Absolutely. That was a perfect example of that. It's a nice round. Hey, look at You score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown. You score with your jab. Mix up your jabs a lot more, okay? You gotta fight your fight. You gotta take him down. You gotta impose your will because you're a bigger, stronger guy, all right? Get him down and keep him down. Let's take a look at some of that action here. You gotta punish him All right, go to the body and press him back. There's the beautiful Shandella. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Set for oh, round two. Good. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Good combos here. They clinch. He's looking for, oh, he escapes. Very nice, good defense. Big elbow. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. He's looking for a Kimura. It is all over. It is all over. Submission victory. Beautiful Kimura. Tito Ortiz with the victory. 
see as soon as he gets it, he clasps the hand on the wrist, yanks that arm up high, and puts all sorts of pressure on that shoulder. See it one more time. He connects that hand to that wrist. That's where the leverage comes from. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of the second round. To play the winner by tap out due to a Kamura, the Huntington Beach, that boy, Kiko Ortiz. The victory goes to Tito Ortiz.